welcome to Steel TV. I'm Deborah Ball. And I'm Tommy Sanders. We've taken the Steel TV cameras across the USA to bring you exciting stories of speed, power, and performance. In the next 30 minutes, we'll meet young athletes who are making the cut in extreme sports as we go behind the scenes of the great outdoor games and the Steel Timber Sports Series. Now, you may have climbed trees as a kid, but never like this. At the International Tree Climbing Championship, you'll see how world-class tree climbing arborists compete 100 feet in the air. Throughout the show, Master Gardener Joe Sharinsky will give us tips on landscaping and gardening projects. We'll go out to see what people have to say about the incredible steel easy to start. Finally, we'll visit with Rolling Stones musician and tree farmer Chuck Lavelle. This is Steel TV, 30 minutes of fast-moving entertainment, action, and information, all brought to you by Steel, maker of a full line of handheld outdoor power equipment, including the number one selling brand of chainsaws worldwide, available only at your servicing Steel dealer. With over 8,000 dealers nationwide, there's one near you. Steel has a long history with lumberjack sports, and I've had the pleasure of covering the Steel Timber Sports Series since the early years. And let me tell you, the Timber Sports Series is the premier event of its kind, with athletes competing from around the world. Now, Steel is also a sponsor of the great outdoor games, kind of like the Olympics of outdoor sports, with competition in fishing, and shooting sports, archery, dog trials, and of course, timber events. Right now, the Steel TV cameras are taking us behind the scenes for a look at some of these events and these amazing competitors. You know, a neat thing about lumberjack sports, there's no gimmicks. I mean, it's a guy and an ax, a guy and a saw, you know, the boom run. I mean, it's as basic as it gets. It's like, here's two runs of log, first man wins. And then the actual sport itself uh, came from um, uh, turn of the century when they would use the rivers as their highways. They would roll the logs into the rivers and drive them down to the sawmills because they didn't have uh, railroads or highways. And that was our way of doing it. The men got skilled at it. They get to these holding ponds and uh, one camp would say they had the best log roller and sooner or later you'd have a contest to find out who the best is. That's what we're going to do down here today. America was built on hard work and you know, with this logging history and mining history and farming, and I think timber sports kind of gets to the roots of that. We're basically out there because we love the sport. I'm a defense lawyer. I, I do trial work, and uh, I call it my profession. I call lumberjack sports my passion. There's a lot of camaraderie, and, and uh, uh, it's, a, it's like a community of friends more than it is a community of independent athletes. It's, it's family-oriented. It's, uh, it's, it's not a big violence thing, it's just true competition and, and the guys are helping each other that are going to be competing against each other on top of it and I think that camaraderie shows through and the, and the people like that. Most people see this on TV and they may not have a chance to do it. Right. Anyone that comes to the Great Outdoor Games gets to try log rolling, they get to try tree climbing, they get to you know really experience a, a lot. And the fact here. that it's free and open to the mm -hmm. public is so great. Keep in mind, there's a lot more about everything you see on this show at SteelTV.com, including more about the great outdoor games and the Steel Timber Sports Series. As well as a host of quick landscaping tips from our friend Joe Sharinsky. Now, Joe has been a frequent guest of Steel TV, and he returns to today's show with a series of tips on keeping your lawn and landscape looking beautiful. It's a beautiful home and a great looking landscape. Unfortunately, it's in serious need of pruning. Now, I understand people's hesitancy to prune. They don't know exactly when to prune, they don't know exactly how to prune, and as a result, they don't do it at all. Now, to me, good pruning looks like it hasn't been done. Let me show you something. If I want to take this limb off right here, I can make this pruning cut, but if I do, I get this big, ugly, white scar showing. Or I can turn my pruning shears the other way and cut this way. No pruning cut. There, a hidden pruning cut. A few more like that and we'll have our sidewalk reclaimed. Now, let me show you something about boxwood hedges. Any pruning begins with good, high quality pruning tools, whether they're hand tools or power tools. Your local steel dealer can help you with that. Now, I started pruning this boxwood hedge earlier to demonstrate an important point. They should always be pruned wider at the bottom than at the top. The reason for that is that allows sun to get to the bottom and it keeps it thick and full. And when you're pruning, make clean, quick, sharp cuts. Clean cuts are healthy for the plant. I've got one more tip for you. Trees need pruning too. There's a right way and a wrong way to prune most trees. 
These cuts should have been made closer to the tree trunk. There's also a right time and a wrong time to prune most trees. Now questions like these and a great many more are answered in the steel pruning guide. It costs nothing. It's well worth it if you're going to be doing any serious pruning soon. Now what we'd like to do today is remove this limb. It's a long and heavy branch though and we'd like to make the pruning cut up here close to the trunk. But if we do, the weight of the branch will pull the bark off the side of the tree. So what we do is go out about two feet on the limb and saw upward. Then we go out another inch or so and saw downward. The two cuts come together and the limb breaks and falls straight to the ground, removing all the weight. That makes it easier to go back to the trunk and make the proper pruning cut next to the collar. By the way, this is pictured on page 22 of the Steel Pruning Guide. Thanks, Joe. You can download a copy of the Steel Pruning Guide at SteelTV.com. To get your hands on these tools, visit your steel dealer. Be sure to ask about the full line of Steel Precision Series hand tools. Pruning shears, saws, hole pruners and loppers, all built with the same quality that has made steel power tools the choice of professional landscapers and active homeowners the world over. You'll also find a major advantage from your steel dealer that's rare in these days of buy it in a box retailing. It's a service advantage. Knowledgeable advice on which product will work best for your needs, details on how to use the product properly, and assurance that if your lawn care products ever do need maintenance, your steel dealer is ready with genuine parts and trained service technicians. What do the Rolling Stones and steel have in common? We'll tell you in 60 seconds. You're watching Steel TV. If you're really into rock and roll, you'll recognize Chuck LaBelle as the keyboardist behind legendary performers like the Rolling Stones, the Allman Brothers Band, and Eric Clapton. But Chuck is also an award-winning tree farmer with some definite ideas about conservation and natural resources. We recently caught up with Chuck at the National Convention of the Future Farmers of America, now known as the National FFA. Chuck was working with some of the 50,000 FFA conference attendees who represented over half a million national FFA members across the country. Well, let me tell you something, this is certainly not your father's FFA. Uh, a lot of things have changed. You know, there's, I think, uh, 24 million jobs connected to agriculture in this country. And FFA is now 476,000 members strong. I mean, it's phenomenal. It's a huge organization. The FFA is helping to train these young people uh, about good stewardship practices, whether it's in agriculture, forestry, whatever the subject might be. Uh, and it's so important that we do this. Uh, that we prepare for the future. This is their generation. They're, they're coming of age now. And these are the young people that are going to be running our country in only a few short years. You know, there's a misconception, I think, in this country that uh, most forests are owned by industry or government. That's not true. Almost two-thirds of our forests are owned by private individuals, people like Rose Lane and I. That This is our backyard. We wake up, we open the door, and this is where we live. And of course we want to take good care of this. We want to be good stewards of the land. Several years back, I was doing an interview with the New York Times, and the journalist asked me, well, what kind of chainsaw do you use? And uh, I had just bought a steel, so uh, I told the interviewer, I said, well, I use what the pros use. I use a steel. And I said, shoot, man, are you kidding? I'm, you know, I love my steel chainsaw. That thing, is, I'm very proud of it, just like I'm proud of my musical instruments. If you know a young person who might want to learn more about the membership benefits of the National FFA, visit SteelTV.com for an easy link to information on how to get involved. Well, now that you've met some of the next generation of agribusiness leaders, we'd like to give you a glimpse of the next generation of outdoor power equipment, the Steel Easy to Start. This revolutionary new technology completely changes the way you start outdoor power equipment. With Easy to Start, you can literally start your steel trimmer or chainsaw with two fingers. Wow, that's awesome. What do you think about that? That's very neat. It's a lot easier than the old one. You had to yank it, pull, and just right. mess with it. Yeah. There you wow. go. <laughs> that's amazing. That's what do you amazing. think about that? That's great. I don't feel like I have to you know, go to the gym tonight. It's so easy. <laughs> when you start most two-cycle engines, you have to pull hard and fast on the rope to overcome the engine's compression and fire it up. 
And if you spend all your energy just starting the equipment, you may not get as much work done as what you'd like. Well, steel has taken the hard work out of yard work with the easy to start system. It uses two springs. You wind the first with a gentle pull on the cord and that spring releases the second one to start the engine. It takes half the effort and it's twice as easy. Wow, that's impressive. My wife would handle that. Steel easy to start. Available on select steel trimmers and chainsaws. See your steel dealer for details or visit steeltv.com. This is Steel TV. We'll be right back. This is Steel TV, and next we're going to the International Tree Climbing Championships, where professional arborists from around the world meet in competition. Most of which takes place 100 feet off the ground in the trees of an urban forest. The competition is part of a week-long series of events sponsored by ISA, the International Society of Arbor Culture. These longtime friends of steel are the people who know and care for trees and forests all over the world. From ancient California redwoods to tall Georgia pines to the maples, oaks, and birch trees in your backyard. Arbor culture is arbor culture. The Latin is uh, would be tree care. So it's the people that take care of the trees in your backyard, on the streets, in, in your community. There's two guys that have been button heads on this thing for the last probably 10 years, actually. Uh, within the last six, they've become dominant forces in the, in the industry. One is Mark Chisholm, who's a tall, lanky guy uh, from New Jersey and uh, Mr. Clean, and then we have uh, Bernstrasses, otherwise known as Bettis, who is a short, squirrely kind of guy from Germany. And it, it, if you look at the contrast between the two, we've got kind of Mr. Clean and we've got Ziggy Marley, and the two coming together, it's really, it's really a neat competition to see them. What I don't do is training for the competition, because I think as, long, as soon as you start training for something, you automatically put yourself under pressure. In the competition here at the International Tree Climbing Championship, you'll see uh, five preliminary events. It's an extremely dangerous profession, and one of the things that this competition does is emphasizes the safety and also come up with better ways for us to climb and access trees in a safe way. Most of the clients that we come across are interested in preserving the wooded environment that they have on their properties. Uh, so we spend a great deal of time and effort researching um, the problems that the trees are uh, encountering because that changes from year to year. And like we have this phrase, in our saying, it's the German word is Bäume sind Gedichte, die die Erde in den Himmel schreit. That means something like trees are poems that the earth writes into the sky. And I really want people to respect trees and take care of them. In addition to the full line of products for homeowners, the men and women of steel are proud to design products for professional arborists like the people we just met as well as dedicated forestry professionals in this country who work hard every day to protect our natural resources and sometimes our lives. To honor these professionals, Steel Incorporated created the Steel National Forestry Heroism Award. The award annually recognizes one person in the forestry industry who's shown exceptional courage to protect the lives and property of others and our natural resources. Candidates for the award may include firefighters, loggers, forest rangers, arborists, and volunteers. If you know a forestry hero that you would like to nominate, go to SteelTV.com for more information. Time for another quick tip from Master Gardener Joe Sharinsky on keeping your lawn looking great. By the way, all the information you hear from Joe on today's show can be downloaded. Just go to SteelTV.com and look for the homescaping section. Now, here's Joe. New home, new lawn, new garden. And it's doing exceptionally well for two very good reasons. The first is the incorporation of organic matter. Peat moss, garden soils, barnyard manures, leaf mold, compost, any organic matter always benefits the soil. And the second really good reason why this garden is doing so well is right here. It's the Steel Yard Boss. As you can see, the Yard Boss comes standard as a powerful cultivator. It's lightweight and easy to use for a man or a woman. And 
With a few simple adjustments and optional attachments, the Yard Boss becomes a true multitask tool. There's an attachment to convert the Yard Boss into a de-thatcher, great for removing dead grass and thatch. You can also make the Yard Boss into a lawn edger or a lawn aerator that allows air, moisture, and fertilizers into the lawn. And for sweeping and cleanup, check out the bristle brush attachment. And my personal favorite, the steel power sweep. The smart design of the Yard Boss means you can get into tight spaces and narrow beds. It folds for easy storage and transport. The Steel Yard Boss, one of my secrets to a beautiful lawn and garden. And hey, for more of my tips on yard care made easy, check out our website, steeltv.com. Thanks, Joe. You won't find the Steel Yard Boss at mass merchants or home centers. To get the Steel Yard Boss, see your nearby servicing steel dealer. With over 8,000 locations nationwide, there's a dealer close by to help you. To find your nearest dealer, just go to steeltv.com. Steel Outdoor Power Equipment has a legendary reputation for power and performance. But now, there's more than one way to carve up the street with a steel. Don't go away. We'll be right back. You may be wondering why we have this custom-made, one-of-a-kind steel chopper on the set. Well, the folks at Steel commissioned it to coincide with the introduction of the new, one-of-a-kind PS700 Steel Cut-Quick Cut-Off Machine. Most of our viewers probably know that Steel makes the number one selling brand of chainsaw in the world, but may not know that Steel also makes the world's number one selling brand of cutoff machines. These powerful tools are used by hardworking men and women in the construction industry the world over. We call this beauty the Steel Street Boss, and it was built at Iron Core Custom Motorcycles in Virginia Beach, Virginia, the same city where the men and women of Steel build what we think is the world's best outdoor power equipment. Contractors may recognize this special edition steel street boss chopper. It was featured at trade shows in 2005 and given away in mid-year. But although we only made one of these choppers, the good folks at Steel are building the TS 700s every day. For more information, go to SteelTV.com. With Steel Power Tools, you can count on world-class performance under the most demanding conditions, like the dependable power from the TS 700. The same is true for professional landscapers who look to steel for consistent performance and smart technology. And that same quality is available in steel products built and priced for homeowners. Your steel dealer can tell you all about it. Find one at SteelTV.com. This is Steel TV. Throughout the show, we've been talking about the many benefits of doing business with a servicing steel dealer. Steel has chosen to sell its products only through independent servicing dealers, not through Lowe's or Home Depot. Shopping at a servicing steel dealer offers you many benefits that home centers just don't provide, like the customer service you can get, helpful advice on which products will work best for your needs, details on how to use the products properly, and basic maintenance. And when you purchase steel products, they're fully assembled and ready to run. Steel doesn't sell power equipment in a box. And importantly, your servicing steel dealer can provide suggestions for protective apparel like ear protection, glasses, and chaps. When you do business with a steel dealer, you also have the assurance that if your power tools ever do need service, your steel dealer is ready with genuine steel parts and trained service technicians. Now, you may be wondering, if steel isn't in Home Depot and Lowe's, are there just a handful of these servicing professional dealers? And where are they? Well, you may be surprised to know that there are over 8,000 steel dealers across the United States. 8,000 locations. That's more than Home Depot and Lowe's combined. Many of you are very familiar with your local steel dealer and recognize the steel signs when you drive by. But if you're a first-time customer, hey, welcome to the steel family. We're easy to find. Just look in the yellow pages under saws or lawn and garden. Call 1-800-GO-STEEL or go to steeltv.com. Master Gardener Joe Sharinsky is back with another tip about the importance of using the right tool for the job, and he's got a versatile steel product that's the right tool for a lot of jobs. In America, we love an emerald green, luxurious lawn that goes all the way around our homes and businesses. And we like that lawn to go right up to the very edge of the walks and driveways. Unfortunately, here, 
We have a dead zone all along the edge of the driveway. And the reason we do is because the wrong tool was used as an edger. An edger leaves a crisp green margin. Let me show you what I mean. Now that looks nice. A good, clean, crisp edge along the driveway. It's the icing on the cake, the lipstick on the landscape. And it's a perfect example of using the right tool for the job. In fact, with this tool, the steel combi system, I've always got the right tool for the job. With a quick turn of this handle, I can remove the edger head and replace it. And the combi system can become a pole pruner, a hedge trimmer, a cultivator, even a powerful steel trimmer. The combi system, always the right tool for the job. No episode of Steel TV would be complete without a visit to a Steel Timber Sports event. Steel created the Timber Sports series and has been the title sponsor since day one. Right now, Steel Incorporated and its 8,000 servicing steel dealers offer this salute to the men and women of the Steel Timber Sports series. Hi, I'm Mike Sullivan, and this is the Hot Saw event. It's a lot harder than it looks. Basically, give ourselves some marks where we may want to hit this log on the first shot, and then where we may want to hit it on the second shot, on our upcut. And then we'll mark for our third cut. But if you do hit your line nice, it is good because you have your lines to go by now, so you know you're right on. You can be very aggressive with it. Boom, I know my foot's right there. There it is. I reach down, put my hands on the logs, and I'm ready to go. Go. That's all you need to do right there, and if you can do that, pretty much every time you'll qualify for the top ten in the steel timber sport. I put my log on the stand, and I dog it up, and I'm ready to go. The first hit's on the bottom on the far side, and the next hit follows on the same plane towards me, and that determines just about how many hits I'm going to put in the front of those two. And that's basically how you should approach every block you chop. And throughout the whole block, you should be thinking all the time. When I put my next four hits in the back, determines on how many hits I'd like to cut the back in. So to do that in the back, the way I like to do it is to go two up and two down. If I'm cutting really well, I'm so far ahead of how I'm hitting the block and how far how many hits I'm putting in the block, it's not funny. Self-discipline is the key to success, really. You can join the fun of Steel Timber Sports to get advanced show information, results, and even go behind the scenes. Go to SteelTV.com and sign up for the free e-newsletter. This has been Steel TV, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. And remember, when you're ready for a steel, you won't find one at home centers like Lowe's or Home Depot. The only place to find steel quality is at one of the 8,000 servicing steel dealers nationwide. Look for one near you by visiting SteelTV.com. We'll see you next time right here on Steel TV.